Zainusha's Forensic Laboratory has taken a significant step in its journey to accreditation, a journey which began in 2018. The Forensic Lab has completed the first phase of an ISO 17025-2017 audit. The audit was conducted by the America Association for Laboratory Accreditation, A2LA, headquartered in Maryland, USA. Three assessors were on island for the process. Fernanda Henry is the Director of Forensic Science Services. Tracy Ray, who was our lead assessor, and she looked at our drug chemistry section. Pamela Jarman, who is a biologist by profession, and she, she was assessing our biology unit to include body fluid identification, and she also got to see our intended DNA operations. And John, John Macula, John is a firearms expert. And so John was here to look at our procedure that we implemented to restore serial numbers. It's called serial number restoration. So we want to include all of those services, all of those testing activities on our scope for accreditation. 16 findings have been presented by the assessors in a color-coded format, which defines what remedial actions are necessary. Green findings means that they are easy fixes. Um, yellow findings, you know, have some sort of implication um, for our quality management system. And red findings have a financial implication. That we only we classified only two red findings, which um, which again um, they were not you know not onerous. Um, we're excited to 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 remediate to put our our corrective action um, into place so that we can change um, a review our documents as required to submit our responses to those findings. Once we submit our responses, then the accreditation council will vote on. Um, for or against our accreditation. The Director of Forensic Science Services says this just completed assessment is a testament to the ability of the staff. Ms. Henry hailed the dedication and the commitment of the scientists, even when COVID-19 threatened to derail the process. Our quality manager, Joy Quinlan, started putting documents together, cognizant of, of the requirements of the standard. We started drafting documents and getting the units to start um, looking through their procedures to ensure that all of the components um, required for compliance were in there. Uh, then, then COVID hit and of course, um, you know, it threw all of us into a whirlwind. We went over to the Ezra Long Laboratory to train them on PCR testing since it was um, a technology that we already did at the lab having um, conducted DNA analysis here. And, um, and it was after that our experiences there that we really um, decided to go full throttle into our quality management system. The forensic lab is working on completing validation for DNA analysis. The next step is the submission of documents for off-site review, given that the assessors have already evaluated the operations of the lab. Once the assessor has reviewed the documents, the forensic lab will be able to add DNA analysis to the scope of accreditation. Forensic scientist Tracy Ray is the lead assessor. Forensic laboratory is really important to have that accreditation because you want that standard of excellence. You want to show that you are improving your system, that you're doing everything possible to provide the correct results to your customers, to law enforcement, to the court systems. So a lot of laboratories they don't go and get accredited right away because they got to make sure that all of the everything works how it should. And then they work through that process of getting accredited. The team of assessors is due back on island in one year for a surveillance visit to ensure that all remedial works identified in the findings have been undertaken. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.